We've got something exciting today. We're in Ontario, Oregon. I'm yep. here with Brian Helfers from Team Aquascape, and we are going to be building a an addition to a water feature for Laura Boutier from Garden Answer. So now it's time for the reveal. Are we ready for that? Do the kids want to lead the way? Do you guys know how to get there? Yep. Okay, Benjamin, you want to lead the way? <laughs> All right, are we ready? We're ready. All right, let's go for the big reveal. Oh, that's ah. amazing. <laughs> oh, so beautiful, look. Oh, and it's this gorgeous, is you guys. That waterfall is three times bigger than we thought it was gonna be. But I love the elevated pool yes. from the grade over here. It just kind uh -huh. of has like this mountain spring yes. look. The it, bridge turned out fantastic. Yes. Chris picked out the perfect stone for a bridge, whether he knew he was supposed to or not. Like, <laughs> he did it. And look at the kids using the stepping stones. Like, Yep. I love that. And you can see how much flow now goes into the lower part. Yeah, you really can. If you can find, if you can find a leaf. Oh, right yeah, here. There you, you can go. see, you can see how quick that water is actually moving. So fish will love that. It'll be like a treadmill for them. They're gonna want to awesome. swim up that current all the time. So they can either go under the log or over it, right? Well, they'll definitely, right they'll probably go under. You think? Yeah. Yeah. So John Adams from Modern Design Aquascaping said, I have an idea for the kids. I want to create a little play area for them because even though we're the same age, he has eight grandkids. I don't have one yet. So he knows how to make his grandkids happy. So this is your fountainscape. Go ahead, plug it in. Um, what was that? Give him the juice. <laughs> there, you want to help plug it in? There you go. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's going to go. Here it goes. There's right. one. Oh, there's another one. Let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, we got another one. That's for you guys. You can get right in there. You can walk around in there. You want to take your shoes off, Benjamin, and walk around in there? No thank you. So the most amazing thing is that two and a half days ago, this was just dirt. This has been a long time coming. Uh, we have been literally since we finished last July talking about the dream stream. This was Brian's concept and there's not a team in the world that could have pulled this off better than the dream team creating the dream stream. This is the best of the best. 
These are certified Aquascape contractors. Each one of you guys were elected by your peers to represent your regions. Each one of you are the overall winners, but there's not a team in the world that could have come in here and in two and a half days created something better than this. Everybody give yourself a hand. Woo! Well, I can't say much more than that. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Really, I told Greg over here, there's not another team in the world that could have done this as efficiently as you guys all did together. Like, we all worked seamlessly together. I think everybody shared the same vision. Uh, thank you so much for making this come true for Laura and her family. Uh, I think they're gonna be sharing this quite a bit. Uh, I can't wait to see the kids interact with it and how they use this. John, I think what you did down there with your team, it's pretty fantastic, and they've got kind of the best of both worlds. A little fountainscape back there in the pond. Uh, I just, I think it's, I think it's breathtaking. This is yeah. one of my favorite features of all times, and it's all because of you guys. It's really a dream team. I can't wait to do it again next year. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And Laura, great job on the landscaping. I can't wait to see what it looks like in another year or two. How about a hand for our host? Yeah. after the storm. Yes. Three days uh, transforming what was a, a blank space into what you have now. What are some of your thoughts about how things went and what your expectations were as opposed to what you have now? I, I'm stunned. I'm honestly shocked that this was created in just three days. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's nuts. And it, it's crazy too how it incorporated so beautifully with the existing pond. Yeah. And I didn't really know like how, you know, everything kind of shifts a little bit and changes during the process. And I just wondered, uh, I don't know, you know, I just, I don't have a tremendous amount of experience. I have this experience and going from last year with this pond install to this year, I had so much more, uh, my comfort level was yeah. way higher. We talked I, about that because yeah. you were kind of like scared when you first got I this was. one put in, right? I was because I had never seen the process done. I had never, I've never had a pond. I've only ever seen, you know, maybe not as great of examples of yeah. ponds. Um, so this was such a phenomenal experience that this year there was no nerves. <laughs> I had 100% confidence in how it turned out, but I still didn't know exactly, you know, how, how is it going to turn here or there, and is it going to incorporate, and it did beautifully, and the team was amazing. Well, I'm glad it was a better feeling experience, like you weren't nervous about yeah. it. And I think I, I saw you running around. I'm sure that's what you do all the time. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like you were kind of enjoying yourself. I did catch you sitting on the rocks with your mom yes. talking to her and <laughs> watching the kids and all that. And you're, you're getting right in there with your jeans on. I'm like, okay, she likes this thing. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's one of my favorite places to be in the garden, and I love to get in it. <laughs> I'm super work. excited. I would love to come back uh, when you get everything planted because I know you're going to just blow this thing away. Yeah. So I, I'd like to make a visit back here probably next year and just see like what it's become because I can tell what you've done just with this section already here. I can only imagine like how it's going to transform this and creating all those like mystery spots where you're walking through the garden, crossing over and, and just amongst the plants and then you have the water kind of peeking out here and there. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of the overall vision, right? Yeah. Is when it's done, it's, it's really just a garden experience. Yes. Because it is, it's usually when we're looking at doing a water feature, it's close to the house. Yeah where you're looking at the windows, you can kind of see it. You actually have to come out here. It's quite a distance it away is. from the house. Yeah, it is a bit of a trek. So when you're doing that, I think creating that whole like intimate, like yes. berms, yes. seating areas, that feel is super important because mm -hmm. why else would you want to come out here? Right. Right. And that's the whole thing. This whole space was one of those areas. Why would you want to go out, you know, to this? It was just a kind of sequestered off piece of grass, you yeah. know? There was no reason to be out here, and now we find ourselves creating reasons to be out oh, here. Oh, that's so awesome. Laura, thank you so much thank for having you. us. You've been an amazing host. This has been such a great experience, and I hope you have many, many years of enjoyment with this new oh, water feature. We will, for sure. Thank you very much.